So good morning everyone. Uh, let me just formally introduce myself before I give a homily. Uh, my name is uh, Kensley Ibanez. I am from Basak, Lapu-Lapu City. Uh, I studied I studied in St. Alphonsus Catholic School. I graduated batch 20, 2005, 2005. And after that, uh, I studied in San Carlos, batch 2009. I worked in the government for two years, then worked in an NGO for, two, uh, for a year. And after that, I entered the Society of Jesus. I am a Jesuit. I am not yet a priest. I'm a Jesuit deacon. So what does a deacon do? A deacon reads the gospel, gives homily, and do other parts assigned by the priest. So I entered the Jesuit, uh, the Jesuit order, uh, 2012, and I finished my studies uh, just this year in the Ateneo de Manila. So I am happy to be back. Uh, it's my first time to serve at Mass here, and I'm thankful for the missionaries of the Sacred Heart for giving me this opportunity. So let me start my homily. I think all of us are very excited today. I think many of you are preparing a lot of fruits on your table, kanang mga circle na fruits, because we believe that when we prepare those fruits, those circle fruits, blessings will come, right? Yes. And I think many of you also here are excited to jump during the new year, because I can see that we are uh, an average height, we love to jump because we want to grow taller every year. And I hope your, what you're doing makes it possible for you to grow taller, I hope. Also, most of us, most of us uh, this evening are excited to spread coins outside our houses to attract good luck, no? to, to avoid bad luck. We want to uh, honk our cars, we want to make noises, no? because we want to avoid bad luck. But I think the most important part of a New Year celebration is is the family. Maski unsa pa nakadagang prutas sa inyong lamisa, maski na kompleto pa na ninyong pila kalingin nga prutas sa inyong lamesa, maski pila pa na kasinsiyo inyong gisabwag outside sa inyong doors. When the family is absent, when the family is not loving, when there is no peace in the family, and I think everything is useless. Because the family is an important component of the society. And the family is an important and necessary component in celebrating the new year. But before we celebrate the new year, we need to take note that today we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family. Today we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family. And it is very consoling to see a lot of families here attending our Masses. We may be complete families, maybe your fathers or your mothers are OFWs, maybe, maybe your parents are dead already, maybe some of your loved ones are not here, but we believe that a true celebration of ending the year is ending it with love and grace in our family. So amidst this excitement and hopeful anticipation of welcoming the year, as we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family, we also need to remember that families are not perfect, that our families are not perfect. Maybe some of us, no, kana mag-away tungod sa yuta. Maybe some of us mag-away tungod kay wala gitigaan og baon sa akong mama. Akong mama sa una dimgin na mohatag og gamay kay mohatag og baon. But we think, no, that the love that revolves around the family makes the family loving healthy and caring and i want to present three important points when we look at the families three problems three circumstances that affect family life as you look at families nowadays and maybe your own family i believe families are affected by the lack of time and communication families are affected by the lack of time and communication. And what do I mean by this? The church spoke a lot about how families face in finding quality time for one another amid the demands of modern life. 
We live in a fast-paced nature of society, coupled with technological distractions that can lead to a lack of meaningful communication within families. So we take, for example, that when we are at table during meals, we do not communicate anymore. We do not communicate anymore. Where do we communicate? Through our cell phones. Nga maski nagkaunta, dinner time, ang ubang bata nagtanaw sa ilang Facebook, ang inahan nagtanaw sa ilang TikTok, ang uba nagtanaw sila sa ilang Instagram. And we don't talk. We lack real communication. We lack authentic communication as a family. So every one of us spends a lot of time in social media, forgetting and letting go of real human connections at home. Pope Francis emphasizes the importance of spending time together, of engaging in open and honest communication, and nurturing relationships through shared activities and dialogue. So to you, my dear families, no, let me ask you, when was the last time you talked something significant during mealtime? When was the last time you shared stories during mealtime? When was the last time you opened your heart to your father, to your husband, to your, fa to your wife during mealtime? Or when was the last time you talked about problems in the family? Second, my second point, our families these days face economic pressures and poverty. Not all of us are rich. Not all of us have these material wealth. And the church highlighted a lot of these things. Economic hardships on families, economic inequalities, poverty, and maybe some of you face unemployment. Now, when we look at our families, pila man sa atong pamilya ang na decent wage. Pila man na ang nasa atong pamilya that can offer a good wage to put food on the table. And I think many of us here, we live, ano ba, kanang daily minimum wage, which is very difficult. So imagine a family of five. The father working, the mother is at home, and three children going to school. How can 500 pesos fit for a family of five every day. So those are the challenges that we are experiencing. And a lot of times, I believe arguments between couples have a lot to do with our salaries. Kung gamay ra kayo tag-sweldo, niya, nagpaskwela pag yung tag-mga anak, nagpagatas pag sa mga anak, baka hospital ta. So tinuod yun, nga kung wak tayo kwarta, lisod yun ang pamilya. And I think it is very common for every Filipino family to have an OFW parents and relatives. Kinsa man diri ang way nakaila og OFW. No, me, my sister is working abroad. And some of my friends are working abroad. I have high school batchmates, college batchmates working abroad. Why? Because they need to provide something for the family. No? Nakita nato nga ang pag abroad dindot siya, dindot sa tanawon, kay natay kwarta. Pero wala nakakita nga ang pamilya ana nagsiak-siak. Wala ta feel na kani mga bata no kanang wala sila nga nganong wala man ako mamagpapas sa mong balay kay ang parents naman sa abroad ang father seaman man So these things these stark realities this contract reality this constant realities and circumstances are really happening within the family And I think brothers and sisters what we can tell you is that the church hears these problems the church is able to acknowledge them Social and economic systems should prioritize the well-being of families, ensuring that every family has the necessary resources to thrive. And my third and last point, the families face different challenges to marriage and family life. For example, infidelities within family. Or for example, if you're a wife, then imong husband kay OFW or abroad or seaman, magunahuna, medyo kagdautan. Di man yung kamalikayan nga baka unahuna tag dautan. Or sometimes makakita ka nga ang ubang husband or ibang wife na ay someone different from the family. And I think these things are happening around us. And sometimes we don't talk about it because we feel that, ah, dapat ang pamilya happy-happy lang. Dapat dili lang natin suriaan sa pamilya. Ay na mo, inyo ninyo yung, yung, yung anak ha. Ay na mo pautan na sa iyong papa kung naba na sa ilain or wala. Para happy na sa balay. 
But we forget that also hardships and difficulties are part of having a family. Pope Francis has expressed concern about various threats into the institution of marriage and family life. The challenges include individualism, kanang mga anak nga di mutabang sa pamilya, kanang mga amahan nga mubiya sa pamilya, kanang mga inahan nga sige lag party nga dili matiman siya mga anak. These are individualistic attitudes that destroys family life. Our different views about married life and the lack of family values I think it is important to uphold the sanctity of marriage and the family as a fundamental building blocks of society. You know what, dear parents? Can I, ako, I've been a school administrator. I, I'm, I'm currently the school chaplain of Ateneo de Iloilo. And when I talk to kids, I always ask them, how are you? And most of their stories revolve not just around their friends, not just what they did in school, but really what is happening inside the family. And sometimes they say that, oh, my family is broken, my family is hurt, my parents are absent, and sometimes I'm quarreling with my brothers and sisters. And these things, and we know that values, they are taught in the family. Kung ikaw ginikanan, kung sige lang singhag sa imong asawa, kung ikaw ginikanan, kung sige lang singhag sa imong anak, because kids, they mimic what parents do. They follow what parents do. So imagine if you're a family who shouts every day, who spanks your children every day, and what kind of family are you building? But also, there are families who love each other, who gives criticism properly. And I think when you look at these families, you see that they are what? growing in love and charity to each other. So my dear friends, brothers and sisters, the invitation of our church today as we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family is to imitate the Holy Family, is to imitate the life of Mary who is poor and humble, to imitate the love of Saint Joseph, though hidden life, he gives a lot of love to his family. Kaya kung tanawin ninyo si Joseph, di ba niya anak si Jesus? Di pa kaslan na bagay niya si Maria? But he is able to give love to Jesus Christ. And also lastly, during this Feast of the Holy Family, it is important to look at the life of Jesus Christ our Lord. And what kind of life does Jesus have? If you read the Gospel, if you are very familiar with the Gospel, Jesus cured the sick. Jesus forgave sinners. Jesus forgave prostitutes, tax collectors. Jesus even raised the dead back to life. And Jesus is loving. And if we want to follow the footsteps of the Holy Family, we ask ourselves, are we being like Jesus to other people? Are we being like Jesus inside our homes? Are we forgiving? Are we charitable? Are we generous? Do we give love to each other? So my ho I hope, dear families present here, that we can continue to gaze the life of the Holy Family, continue to gaze the life of our Lord, and to follow His examples. And may peace and blessing from the Lord be upon us as we enter a new year. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us stand to profess our faith.